Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.38 from the chapter number 4. Okay, this is 4.38. The problem is write the HDL gate level description of the priority encoder circuit shown in figure 4.30. So this figure is from the inside of the chapter. This figure number is from the 4th edition book, Digital Design. So this is the figure 4.30 from inside of the chapter. So this is the priority encoder. Okay. So here we can see that the input D3 has the highest priority regardless of the values of the other inputs. Okay. Here for this problem solution, we will consider that D3 has the highest priority and D0 has the lowest priority. So this is the 4.10 table. These are the inputs and we have this x y and v okay now let us see the figure 4.30 so this is the figure 4.30 from the book so these are the output functions these are the output functions x y and capital v using these equations this circuit diagram is drawn so these are the input output relationships d0 d1 d2 and d3 are the inputs and x y and capital v are the outputs so in this circuit we can see that these are the inputs d3 d2 d1 and d0 and we have the outputs x y and capital v so this circuit we have redrawn for the solution so here we can see that after this inverter we have assumed it to be d2 complement because d2 is the input so it will be complement of d2 okay and here we have assumed wire w1 now let us write down the hdl gate level description so first of all we have to write module priority encoder gates okay these are the underscore okay these are the outputs x y and capital v and the inputs are d0 d1 d2 and d3 so semicolon you have to terminate this line then we have defined that w1 and d2 underscore not that is d2 complement okay so these are the two wires that is we have seen here this is the one wire that means we have assigned one wire d2 not and w1 so here we have defined the wires now we have to see that so d2 not is the complement of d2 okay so we have to write here so not d2 not comma d2 that means this not operation will be on d2 and will have the value stored in d2 not let us find out the x so x is the or operation between d3 and d2 so we will write or x comma that is uh, the whatever will be the operation value will be stored in x that is d2 and d3 we have done the or operation and we have put the value in x and then we have to find out for v suppose for v we have this is nothing but d2 plus d3 here we have that is x okay so d2 plus d3 plus d1 plus d0 okay v is the summation of d0 d1 d2 and d3 okay so we have seen that so d0 this is d1 so d2 and d3 are already added with the previous adder okay so we have got the value in x so we will directly write x now let us write down the or operation between d0 d1 and x and we have will have the value in capital v then we have to do the n of this n operation this n operation is between d1 and d2 not okay so we will write and w1 is the n operation between d2 not and d1 okay then we have to find out this or operation to find out y so y is the or operation between d3 and w1 so we'll write or y comma d3 comma w1 okay so then we have to write n module so this is the very low gate level description for the 4-bit priority encoder using d3 has the highest priority thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you